What is going on, good people? We are talking Dynasty Wide Receivers 2022. We're talking about Justin Ross specifically, but then we're going to dig into maybe some voting on who your top wide receivers are in this 2022 rookie wide receiver draft class. But I want to really emphasize Justin Ross with you guys today and talk about how good this kid could be. Not that he will be. He's no lock to be a top wide receiver in the NFL. He's no wide receiver one dynasty lock. He's no lock to even be a top one or two or three dynasty wide receiver from the 2022 wide receiver draft class. But he could be. And I think people need to understand the difference between he will be or he could be. Because me saying that, that Justin Ross could be the number one rookie wide receiver from the 2022 draft class, it rubs people the wrong way instantly. They're like, how can you say that? I love Drake London. Smitty, what are you saying right now? Drake London's the best guy ever. How do you not like Drake London? I'm not saying Drake London can't be the number one. I'm not saying he's not the number one. I'm not saying Justin Ross is going to blow him away. I'm saying there's a real dynasty opportunity here to scoop this kid up, Justin Ross, Right here, Justin Ross, that's how you spell his name for a lot of people that don't even know who he is. Could have been the number one wide receiver in the draft class had he not suffered the back injury. He had the surgery. His career's been potentially on the line. He was re reportedly never going to play football again because of the back injury. They had to do the fusion thing. They had to, they, they had to remo remove, a, I believe, a vertebrae or a, or a part of his back, you know, and, and do some surgery. There's some extensive surgery that he had to overcome and get cleared to even be able to play football again, which he did. And then he comes into the NFL completely overlooked, completely just passed over. Every single team, all 32 teams, did not draft this man. They passed him over. They said no. He could have been, without the back injury, the number one ranked wide receiver in this draft class. Nobody drafted him, but the KC Chiefs did sign him after the draft. The KC Chiefs do believe in him. The KC Chiefs will give him, a, uh, give him an opportunity. And there's no better opportunity than in KC where the number one wide receiver has left in Tyreek Hill. It's wide open. I'm not saying that Sky Moore is going to fall flat on his face or that he doesn't have the upper hand. I get it. I get it. But Justin Ross... There's no better situation he could have asked for than to go into a place where Patrick Mahomes no longer has his number one wide receiver. He's walking in and getting footballs from Patrick Mahomes anyway. Like, that that's a great situation. Even if, let's say, he never becomes the number one wide receiver on the team, this is just a great situation for him in general to walk in and get, get a, a, a job catching footballs from Patrick Mahomes in a wide receiver room that got thinned out very quickly. I don't believe in Juju long term. I don't believe necessarily that Sky Moore is a lock to be the number one there. I think, in my opinion, this is the best bet. That Justin Ross kid that's got all the talent in the world. Justin Ross, who can't be covered. They said that one reason he fits into this offense is because he can take the top off the defense and no, he can outrun anybody. He can outrun any coverage. He's elite. He is an elite talent. It does come down to injury for him. It does come down to the fact that if he if he is in a position where an injury could take him out, one injury could take out his career, then yeah, that's why teams passed over him. But he was cleared. And if, if a doctor tells you that the likelihood of him getting hurt is no different than the likelihood of Sky Moore getting hurt and suffering an injury, then we have ourselves a gem on our hands. We have ourselves a bunch of scared teams that didn't want to go down this road, but KC. KC went down the road, KC scooped them up, and all Ross has to do is impress and grab a hold of one of these jobs. Now, could he suffer some setbacks and have some injuries? He's been out of football for quite some time. I know he did come back. But there have been some other injuries that have popped up because he has been literally on the shelf for so long. It's it's tough to say. Like, could he could he be could he be you know necessarily be in a position to to even start games in 2022? I don't know. Like, we're getting excited about somebody that we have no real evidence that he will be on the field in 2022. So everybody needs to understand that. Pump the brakes if you're taking this video in a way that. Is, is is you know you think you're going to get some guy that's going to come in there and be your number three wide receiver in fantasy football right out of the gate it's not the case he's got to climb and earn this spot but he is the in my opinion he's the most talented wide receiver on the entire kansas city chief roster it just comes down to health 
Um, that's how I feel about Justin Ross. A lot of ifs, a lot of unknowns. Um, people need to take this with a grain of salt. People need to understand this is an upside pick. This is a potential gem. This is somebody you stash on your taxi squad or you just you, you draft him with one of your last draft slots in a very deep dynasty league. Um, I don't think you consume this kid in a, in a redraft setting by any means right now. You monitor him because maybe he does climb fast, but this is a dynasty call. This is a gem call. This is a deep sleeper call. This is not one of these calls where we can safely say, oh, he's going to be as good as Watson or London or Wilson or whoever. Let's vote right now. Who are, everybody throw your vote out. Who is the number one wide receiver in this 2022 fantasy football rookie draft class? Cast your vote now. Just drop a single name so I can keep everything organized up here. Drop a single name. And if you want to uh, nominate this four spot or a fifth spot, throw out a name that isn't up here. I just threw the first three names up real quick. It doesn't have to be Watson, London, or Wilson. It could be whoever you want. Who is the number one rookie wide receiver from this 2022 draft class? Cast your vote right now, and I will drop it under these names or add the name. Let's go. Toss out the names. Let's go Williams. Okay, so we're going to put Williams up here. We'll keep it in other category right here, uh, but we will put Williams' name here. And, and put the Jam Jameson Williams up on this board. Williams, there we go. Williams is there. Wilson is here. London is here. Watson is here. They're not in any particular order, so don't, don't get all upset if, if you think this is some kind of order or ranking by me. It is not. Um, let's go. Vote, vote. So we got Ross. Um, looks like we got to put Ross up here now because we do have a, a Ross vote. Let me move all these over. I should have just done this, put all these names up here beforehand. So we'll put Ross up here. We'll keep that other category there. Ross. Okay, here we go. Pickens, I'm putting under other. I don't think Pickens is going to get enough votes to, to warrant that. So Pickens will go under other. other. Um, Pickens under other. Ross. We got one vote for Ross. We've got uh, London. We've got a London vote. We've got a Burks vote. I'll put Burks under there. Burks. I might have to create a Burks category. Looks like I'm going to have to create a Burks category. Garrett Wilson. Um, London, Pickens, Burks, 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 London, Ross, Pickens. Uh, Pickens. we got another Pickens vote. Is that a new vote? I think. No, that's old. Kenny already voted Pickens. Uh, we've got. Uh, wow, you guys love Pickens, man. Um chosen one as Pickens. Wow. A guy not even on on the list up here. A guy under other is leading in Pickens. Give me Williams for Dynasty, says Vamp. Garrett Wilson says Media. Yeah, Burks has got... Burks and Pickens are your guys' you know, vote so far. That's crazy. I'm not, not saying you're wrong. Just, just shocked. Just shocked. London, we got another London vote. If I miss somebody's vote, let me know. Watson, we got a Watson vote. Finally got a Watson vote. Uh, Pierce, we got a Pierce vote. Alec Pierce. Uh, we might have had another Pierce vote up above. I might have missed. Macho, no, Macho voted. Okay, that was Macho. Uh, oh, Chosen One does have two votes for Pickens. Okay. Yeah, so far, Burks has three votes right here. Pickens has two. Pierce has one. London has one. Jeb says Pickens. Wow, I'm surprised. Um, guys, state your case on Pickens. Why do you like Pickens so much? I'm not I'm not against it. I like Pickens. He's a good talent, but he, he is in a bad situation in a sense because he's the third wide receiver. Yeah, uh, Deontay or Claypool might not be in Pittsburgh in 2023, so I get that that door might open up a little bit wider. But, you know, uh, I, I guess Pickett, you guys like Pickett a lot maybe? It's okay. It's okay. Williams missed, missed mine, says Terry. Terry says Williams. Uh, Hoovy says Williams. Williams making a comeback. Williams making a comeback. I feel like we got one more Garrett Wilson vote. I might have missed somebody's Garrett Wilson vote. Smitty, I love this voting stuff on the Dynasty channel. Yeah, I kind of do too. It's become a little staple of what we do over here. A lot of voting. A lot of voting. A lot of talking. A lot of voting. A lot of mix of everything. 
can't choose anyone but Ross. I've been loving that guy a long time, says the Bruce. I like Pickens too much, but I'm higher on Pierce because of the situation. Macho loves the, the, the Matt Ryan situation. If healthy, Pickens is a top 20 pick. Um, as a as a as a rookie, top twenty pick, or are you just talking about are you talking about overall, bro? That's that's bold, man. You can't take Watson with uncertainty in A Rod's future next year, says says uh, Vamp Smitty. Where do you have Danny Gray going in Dynasty? Um, very late, but a very high. You obviously know how much I love Danny Gray, but he's the kind of guy that you're taking like in. I don't know the end of round two or even in even top of round three in a dynasty start or a dynasty rookie only draft. So only rookies is not a first rounder, which is good. That's great news for people that love Danny Gray because he's going to be under the radar in the draft in the draft this year in redraft though. Like so, you're talking about redraft. Like he if he's healthy and on the field, you think Kenny Pickens is going to be a top twenty to twenty five overall pick. I mean, like, play like that. That's 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 bold, bro. That's bold. That's crazy, man. Uh, crazy in a in a and I like bold way. I like bold stuff. I don't agree with it, but I like it. I, I like that you're crazy about it. That's fine with me. You know, I'm I've got some bold stuff. Once healthy, Williams is the best wide receiver in the entire class. I I definitely feel like that could be the case, Terry. I love Jamison Williams a lot. Pickens has that it factor for sure. Said Macho Taco. It's interesting. You guys are a big Pickens uh, support group right here. I like it. I like that you guys are banding together. No, in the in the real NFL draft. Okay. I was trying to figure out what you meant, but top 20 pick. You think in hindsight he will be worth a top 20 pick overall in the NFL draft, the rookie draft? Okay, I got gotcha. you. Can't take Watson with uncertainty. Yeah, I read that already. London is the best, no doubt, says Sean. Sean's voting London right here. A lot of a lot of London supporters. I, I I like London. I just don't I don't know that I feel he has that like wide receiver one over you know top elite wide receiver one ability, London. I think London's got like that wide receiver two in fantasy capability. I, just, and I could be wrong. I just don't know that I see wide receiver one potential. Nor do I love the situation currently. That could change pretty pretty quickly, though. All right, guys. Uh, this was 12 minutes. Goes fast, but the Dynasty Channel is all about doing a, an 8 to 12 minute shot of fantasy football goodness. We've been here for 13 minutes now. That means I will end the show just to keep things speedy to be able to do uh, a single show every single day is going to require my discipline of, of cutting it off after 8 to 12 minutes. So appreciate everybody here. Please subscribe if you're new. We've got 26 to 30 people watching right now and only 12 thumbs up. So it does me a solid, especially on this new brand new channel, if you subscribe and if you punch the thumbs up button so that we at least match those thumbs up with the eyeballs in here. It really helps the Dynasty channel grow. If you're watching right now and you don't even realize you're on a different channel than the main the Fantasy Football Show channel, please subscribe. It will help the channel grow and hit the thumbs up on the way out. Also, leave a comment. I reply to every single comment on my channel, so drop a comment if I missed your question or you just want to voice your opinion on this topic, drop a question or a comment, and I will get back to you guys. Please, punch a thumbs up. It's 24 watching still, only 16 thumbs up. Hit it, hit it, and see you all tomorrow live on the main channel. I'm live at 7 p.m. every single Monday through Friday on the main channel. Appreciate you. Monday through Friday, your boy Smitty's live on the main channel and going live once a day on this Dynasty channel. Punch the thumbs up. 20 of you still in here. Appreciate you.
not sure if I'll be live tonight on the main channel. I'll, I'll uh, stay tuned for that, but definitely be live tomorrow if there's any breaking news at all before the 7 p.m. show. So until tomorrow, maybe tonight, see you all later. Time to go get some hot wings, baby. Hot wings, baby.